Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons Channel. In one of the recent videos, I showed you how to split a solid into two arbitrary parts. A question arose about how these parts can be utilized and how to further edit individual parts. Now, I will show you how to do this in FreeCAD. I remind you that FreeCAD is a free 3D CAD system that everyone can use for both hobby and commercial purposes. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now I will move on to a new FreeCAD project. We will create a new parametric part, and I will show you a simple example of how to split a part, and how this split part can be utilized in a further project. I will create a new sketch on the XY plane and create a rectangle here, with the first corner placed at the origin of the coordinate system. We will create a rectangle with dimensions of 150 millimeters by 70 millimeters. Let's also add some geometry here, since we will split this solid into three solids. I close the sketch, add a pad. OK, and we have this solid. Now I will create the first cutting geometry. I will create a sketch on this face. I select this face, choose to create a sketch, and create the cutting geometry approximately like this. I close the sketch, go to the part module, and in the part module, I add an extrusion. Here, I need to add an extrusion downwards. So I enter 15 millimeters in this parameter. We can leave 10 here and click OK. We have the first splitting geometry. Now we will split this solid using this cutting plane. I select the solid, hold the control key to select the cutting plane, and choose the slice apart command. We have the exploded slices object here, and we have two solids. If I wanted to apply another split, I can create another splitting geometry here. If you want to create cutting geometry to split this solid, we go to the part design module. Based on this solid, we will create a new body, select this solid, and click the create body button. Now you can edit this solid, you can create new geometries here. I select this face and will create a sketch here. For example, we can simply edit this solid, we can create a new cutting geometry here. I select this face, choose to create a sketch, select the line tool, and create a line like this. I close the sketch, go to the part module, It's important that this plane extends beyond the solid. We select this solid, hold the control key to select the cutting plane, and choose the slice apart command. We have another split solid, and in this way, the solid we started with has been divided into three solids. With this simple example, I wanted to show you how to edit solids after splitting. Such a thing can be useful in a more practical case. For example, when we are manufacturing such a part and want to create some latches to make assembling this part easier later. For instance, if we are printing a part that is quite large and does not fit on the 3D printer's bed, we want to split this part into several elements, but later, to make it easier to assemble these elements into one part, we add latches, which will facilitate the positioning of the elements relative to each other. Such a thing can also be done easily. I move to the part design module. Based on these solids, I will create additional bodies. I select the first solid, create a new body. Here I select the second solid and create a new body. I turn off the visibility of this solid, turn off the visibility of this solid, and turn off the visibility of this solid. We have the visibility of these two solids turned on. Now, for example, I will edit this solid. 
so I will also turn off the visibility of this solid. This solid is active. It is important that the name of this solid is bolded. Of course, we can change the name of the solid by right clicking here and clicking rename. We can enter a new name. I select this face and will create a sketch. I choose the Create External Geometry command to create a reference geometry relative to this edge. I will create two such rectangles here. I won't dimension them. Okay, based on these rectangles, I will add a pad. Nothing appeared here, so I check Reverse to add the pad in the opposite direction, and I will add a pad, for example, to 5 mm. I click OK. OK, and we have this solid. Now I will turn on the visibility of this solid and I would like there to be pockets in this part, in these places. To do this we will use the operation of subtracting one solid from another. We go to the part module and here we will use the operation of subtracting one solid from another. To do this we first select the solid from which we will subtract and then hold the control key to select the solid we are subtracting. Then we select the cut operation. In this way we created something like this. Here, as you can see, the part we were subtracting has disappeared. We don't have it in the project, but if we expand this cut object here, we have parts L1, and based on this part, we can export the model to step format or STL format, based on which we will prepare a 3D print. To do this, we select what we want to export. From the file menu, we select export. Then we specify the file name, choose the extension in which we want to export and save it in step format or in any other format we have chosen. Now I will run the slicer and add this model here. As you can see, even though this part was used for the operation of subtracting one solid from another and was initially not visible in the FreeCAD project, it is still accessible and we were able to use this part. We could also export this part to STEP format or STL format, but sometimes it may be necessary to make minor changes. Therefore, we can also edit such a part. To edit this part, we go to the part design module and based on this part we create new bodies. Now we can make some changes here. We can slightly enlarge these holes, for example. We can do this by creating a new sketch on this face. I choose to create a sketch, and now, based on these geometries, I will create reference geometry. We can create new geometry here. We can do this like this. We can also add specific dimensions, but we can gently outline it to make this hole slightly bigger. OK, here if you want you can add specific dimensions, but I won't do it now. I close the sketch and based on this sketch I create a pocket in this solid to a depth of 5 mm. I click OK. In this way, we can make changes to this solid. In this video, I wanted to show you mainly that by using the slice apart operation and splitting the part into two parts, we can still utilize these parts in the project. We can continuously make changes to these parts. The fact that we cut these parts doesn't mean that it is already the final shape of the solids. We can continuously use these parts in further stages of the project. As you have seen here, we can modify these parts, we can add further extrusions, we can add more pockets, so these parts after cutting can behave like separate solids that we can continue to work on. I know that for beginner FreeCAD users, the information in this video may be a bit complicated, but these are already the next steps in learning FreeCAD. 
to understand exactly what I am talking about, you need to know the basics of FreeCAD. We will end here. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.